Hello everyone, and welcome to a summary of the last stream that we did, which was on Thursday? I don't know. Why should I know? I was only in it. So last Thursday, <laughs> we decided to do some stuff. Uh, as you are aware, this is a quest-based mod pack. I've just handed in this quest, which apparently we got done, perhaps, since the stream. I wanted to make a spawner changer. So I did. Now the problem with the spawner changer is we needed this gam Garmin Bosia, right? Garmin Bosia, Gorgonzola. Now Gorgonzola there is materialized vengeance essence. This actually turned out to be quite easy eventually. Vengeance is materials, all this stuff, right? So this vengeance essence here is uh, drops when killing a vengeance spirit. So what we have to do, we have to go all the way back to the stuff that Lawrence didn't get around to doing because he couldn't be bothered or whatever in the black magic tier 2 thing. So over here, we'd got this part, but we hadn't made, I think we might have made this already, the Vengeance Ring, but we hadn't made a uh, Piercing Vengeance Focus, which is the Vengeance Ring surrounded by some of this stuff, and then some of this stuff, and then End Crystals, and Pot Chorus Fruits. I can't remember how we managed to get Gas Tears, so something, these were harder to get than Nether Stars, because Nether Stars we've just got automated, as I showed you last time. No, Blood Orb, brilliant. So I started making this promise of tenacity all this stuff, right? Because this blink, blinking thing takes absolutely ages to actually produce. That's like a two minute craft in real time. We need two of them. So I started doing all that stuff. So in in the downstairs over here, I spent a large amount of, of the stream, just time on the stream, just making this faster. <laughs> it just took ages and ages. It was ridiculous. And all these promises of this and that and the other. Um, but now I have my very own blood uh, orb somewhere. There it is. So I mean, I've, got a, I've got an apprentice blood orb, so I've got my own life essence. I'm sure I could probably find out how much. I, I can't remember. And then we wanted to do the next thing. I can't remember why we needed this. Oh, because we went back a little bit and we went, okay, having done that, well done. We learned about that and we got the, isn't that thing? I don't get this. So if someone in the comments wants to tell me exactly what about Twin Peaks is got to do with Gorgonzola, I don't know. Uh, so then, tier 5 main quest line. We wanted to make this. I still haven't made it, by the way. It's, this is ready in our in our thing to be made, right? Um, neutron Collector. It's, it's ready. We've got pattern. But every time we click start, there's something missing. What is it this time? Probably going to be something boring like gravel, right? To craft, to craft, to craft. I don't see anything missing. You see anything missing? To craft, to craft, to craft. Craft, to craft. Ah, this thing. Okay, so we need to go back to the moon, kill another. Uh, that was the skeleton boss, the big, scary, not the creeper boss. That was easy. We can do that another couple of times. That's fine. We also needed. Um, Basically, we needed steel leaf. So this, we we went and killed a dragon. Actually, do you want to see where the dragon was? Uh, bear with me. I'll I'll show you. I have to confess, I may have got distracted. I found this building, uh, and it looks like maybe at some point we've been down here because there's torches. There's not very many. What is this? Have we been here? Maybe. It's not far from spawn, but it seems to be in the wrong direction from anywhere that we were likely to have been in the past. It's just this, another one of these just complexes full of... It's not even that complex, it's just a cave which <laughs> runs into a structure which is made of cracked stone. Oh, there's a chest. Empty? No, it does have electrotine alloy plates in it. I can go in there, look. Ender pouch is very, help very helpful indeed. And then there's this sort of lava temple type thing made of... But this looks like it could be <clears throat> either a, a cave or intentionally full of lava. Like a, it, it's got a it's gallery around it, which implies that it's a structure, but it's also got it's reminiscent of caves. And it kind of looks like the one that we found underneath the the Stargate. So maybe it's just another one of those. But... Okay, can't be bothered fighting. Cave oh, apparently I'm fighting the cave spider. Just... <laughs> uh, I'm lost. Here we go. Anyway, 
So also, I'll tell you what we did uh, on the stream whilst I'm looking for my way out, which is that we found the Twilight Forest. We found the Twilight Forest. We went to the Twilight Forest. The reason we went to the Twilight Forest is we needed steel leaf. Why do we need steel leaf? I can't remember. <laughs> I really cannot remember. I wonder why this is taking so long. If you hold the W key, you go slower than if you just look upwards. What's the point in that? Um, I can't remember why. Also, I found this. Uh, there's another astral temple here. So, that's nice. Can't remember why we needed the steel leaf, but it's, surely it was part of one of these quests. It might even have been for that neutron collector, right? Also for the neutron collector, so you notice that I'm doing this travel. We found this castle. This castle was always here. I keep lagging uh, and stopping in midair. This is boring. There's nothing in this castle. I'm not even going to show you. And a little bit further beyond the castle, <coughs> there's the dragon. But we were looking for this steel leaf. We spent the entire rest of the stream looking for steel leaf. It was crazy how rare it was. Now you're supposed to be able to find it in various chests in the um, Twilight Forest that are all over the place. And I'll, we'll go there in a minute. We'll have a look. Uh, I'm kind of tempted to go in creative mode and do it that way, but I'd have to reload the whole game. I can't really be bothered. But it's actually just silly quite how long we spent looking for steel leaf. So you're like a, a mate, right? You're you're a, you're not a baddie. Apparently you can trade with these at some point, but you need to have the right stuff. That's what Tristan said. Well, it might be what Tristan said. I don't really remember. I remember saying you can trade with them, but obviously I can't talk to that thing right now. What is this? Jungle Mermex resin. That's resin, bro. Oh, they don't want me in here. Sorry. <laughs> Who's carrying? What are you doing? What are you doing with that? Making creepy noises. Okay, I, I don't like that thing. It's friendly though, which is the kind of gross thing about it. What is this shape? What does this look like on the map then? Just, just a journey map. Nothing special. Maybe if we uncovered it, it would look nice. Kind of looks like a painting. I've not seen this. Not a painting, but like a design. It looks like you're supposed to be able to see it, right? In the sky. I don't know. What's this? A bull. Cool. Maybe it's supposed to look like lava, but it isn't lava. It's just terracotta. Okay. Um, it was insane, basically, how long it took us to find steel leaves. <laughs> we ended up in this maze, this actual labyrinth looking for stuff. So here's where the dragon lived. There's this pile of gold stuff here. Look, it actually drops gold nuggets, which is kind of silly. I don't care about that. Um, and then in, there's obviously a hoard, a treasure hoard. Look, tactical lava. Which you could have deployed against the dragon, but obviously the dragon was still alive at this point. So the dragon lives in this sort of lair of burned cobblestone, basically. Um, and there's a burned tree on top and all that sort of thing. There's chests in the tree because, you know, dragons don't really have much sense of what they're doing. Blossoming leaves. Gold on the tree. Why does that not just fall through the leaves? That's crazy. Sort of magic gold. So we came all this way to get some fire because we needed the, f the dragon blood. Fire dragon blood. Because we needed fire dragon steel to make the the, the new neutron collector. Obviously. I mean, what would you make a neutron collector out of? Um, so <laughs> oh my goodness. Stop stopping. We're trying to get home. So I think that the steel leaf was also part of the um, neutron collector. You know? But I can't remember. <laughs> we needed it for something. And we ended up finding so much stuff that was made of steel leaf. And other um, twilight forest gubbins. But our actual... We fought the lich. Because we heard that there was steel leaf in the lich's lair at the top. Didn't find it. It's just stone, isn't it? Yeah. Um, we fought the Minotaur, which was a Miftor. So it was a it was a the the mushroom Minotaur. So it was a human bull mushroom 
It gave us some some stuff, right? So we found we eventually found steel. If we found steel of helms, we found steel of picks, which also for info, mining level obsidian. Uh Meef's strong enough. Now see this is another thing because in the Twilight Forest there's a progression. As you fight a boss, then you get something and then you can fight the next boss. And it turns out that if you eat this Meef strong enough, you end up with a buff <clears throat> that protects you against something or other. But we've only got two of them. I can't remember what it said. Um but as raw meef as well. So maybe guys can we make this? Can we oh so you can't make the meef strong enough, although we do have raw meef, which also came with got Maystone. So we've got these shader bags, right? This can be applied to flamethrower, minecart, balloon what I don't know. The all magnet we haven't tried, but should we try this? Does this work out here? I think this just like pulls ore to the surface. So we might go away a little bit, because we've got that tree there. <laughs> Don't crash. See the, the mining tree that we've had for a while? Uh, that also pulls ore to the surface, so that's not much use. This could be really good in the nether, actually, if we're looking for something unique to the nether. We just, like... We hold it down until something happens. <laughs> ah! It works! <laughs> oh, I tried to vein mine it, but you can't. So that's how that works, and uh, that almost broke it completely, so I want to ask, can we fix it? Let's learn together. Um, <clears throat> so we fought the Lich, we fought the Minotaur, but to find it, we had to go through the maze. Like, the Minotaur lives in a labyrinth, obviously. So we spent all evening <laughs> looking, trying to navigate a labyrinth. But we managed it, and we came home with some steel leaf. What did we need? Oh, what did we need the steel leaf for? I don't know. Um, <laughs> did we get? Where is it? We got Naga Scale. So the Naga Scale lets you fight the Lich. We found the Naga Scale in the chest where we expected to find the Steel Leaf. So we use the Naga Scale to get into the Lich's tower to look for the Steel Leaf. And it's fighting the Lich, but we let the Lich out. You're not supposed to do that. You're supposed to go up the tower and fight it in its chamber. But what we did was open the door, we bust in the wall, and the Lich does the first thing it does is this like. Uh, it does a, like a duplicating attack, so it makes ghosts of itself that are not real. and supposed to attack the correct one. Now in the little chamber, there's just maybe four of them. There's the real lich and then three copies of it. But then if you let them out, they just teleport all around the map. He was going everywhere. It was insane. So we did get 390 steel leaf, which is great. That is used for <laughs> uh, a steel leaf sword. A sword, a sword, a pick, pick, pick. Armor. Just armor. So, and then you can make a steel leaf. Maybe it was a block of steel leaf we needed. Because a block of steel leaf goes into the neutron collector. You need two blocks of steel leaf for the neutron collectors. So now all we need is the access card tier 2, which is on the moon. It is easy. I spent a long time. So let me, let me pause the recording here and show you around the... Twilight Forest, where we nearly died. Welcome. You may be aware of this map. Don't be confused by this, because I was. That's not me. That's the person who was holding the map when the map was put down, I think, or when the map was made. It would be when the map was put down, or something. I don't know. Um, so we went for a walk. These lumps here are hills in which there is cool ore. So we'll have a look at it. Um, I'm pretty sure it's north, east, south, west, right? It's, this map is oriented north. So whoever put it down was facing that way. I'm not sure how. Um, over there is one such hill, a small one. Over there is a bigger hill. We were over here somewhere. I can't even remember where we were. We fought this lich. We went so far. Let's have a look at the journey map. This might help. So we went over here. Look <laughs> how far we went. Um, so this is a naga. We didn't need to fight that because we found a naga scale. This thing here is actually terrifying. I died in here. It's um, it's constantly raining and the rain hurts and there's a giant. And I think what we're looking at here is the actual... Maybe this was the sky bit. That looks like the giant sky. So there's a giant that lives in the sky up here. But it's raining here as well. It's obviously a different biome, but it was still raining on us here, killing us slowly. And I tried to get through the rain, but it turned out it was worse and worse and worse. And these things, they're like these... Brambles all around it is horrible, so I'm hoping that we can go there at some point. 
So here's the lich that we fought. That's where we started. <laughs> this is this dark place, which is also scary. And all the way down here, I think this this is the mound that we dug in. So we'll go and visit there. Um, hopefully, I've put some effort in and actually overlay some stream footage for you at, at this point. But if I haven't, I apologise, but I couldn't be bothered. Um, so let's let's go for a. Sorry about that. What what what? Craft the magic map. I did not craft the magic map. I have cheesed the game. I, I don't deserve any of my accolades. Let's go for a fly and I'll meet you on the other end. If you look to your right, you will see that it is constantly raining. And there are also brambles. If you stay too long here, it starts to hurt. Ow, 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 acid rain. <laughs> Told you. Uh, also, now I'm poisoned, so brilliant. Um, up there somewhere is the giant in the sky, but I'm not going to stick around because it hurts too much. Run away! So that took us off guard. That was the sanctioned use of slash home because I got stuck in a building that I couldn't get out of because the place was also protected. Uh, I died from the acid rain or something. <laughs> and then the place was protected. Um, and I could do it. Oh, we're here now, so there's no point in me pausing the recording and coming back. Died to acid rain. Got stuck in a building. And then we came down here. Now, I'm very glad that I actually took the time to craft this ender shooty thingy. Now, please imagine, if you will, that this whole place is dark. Dark, dark, dark. And there are portals everywhere. Not portals. Spawners. Oh, look. Creepers, to prove my point. Um, including creeper spawners, yes. Luckily, it's too laggy and they don't actually know whether I'm here or not. <laughs> uh, avoid the beetles, they're really annoying. And there's all sorts of ore, right? And they dangle from the ceiling like this, and it's really cool. This includes uh, some very rare ores as well. So if you're looking for that sort of thing, it's here. But we do have a void miner, so you know, what do we need ores for, right? We're better than that. Um, so all of this... There's supposed to be like a bajillion chests around here, right? But we couldn't find them, <laughs> basically. Where are they? Whoa, watch it, you. I'll have you. Fight you. Come on, then. Just keep your bow out. I do have some uh, torch arrows as well, so I could, in theory, light that place up. So, uh, I don't even know if this is part of the hill, or if this is just something else nearby there that also happens to be Twilight Forest. So we spent some time in here, and we had to clear the whole place out. It was absolutely teeming with monsters all the time because of all the spawners and what have you. And of course this one's got a huge ravine down the middle of it, so we got stuck as well. I'm, I'm wandering around as if I'm invincible, but I'm really not. It's very easy to die down here. Lots of R died, but also I don't think we need that. So this is really cool if you are early game. Maybe we should have come down here like previously <laughs> when this would have been helpful. So I was expecting to find like 12 chests in here, and I think we found one. Plus these, I don't even know if these count because this is a dungeon place, right? And it's got kind of bad loot. If I'm being fair, if I'm being honest, it's boring. Who cares about this loot? Um, there was a couple in the ground and I, I think they're all sort of assortedly hidden amongst the stacks of ore. So if you go mining, you find it plentifully, but I can't go mining because it's too laggy. Uh, and also I can't be bothered digging out all this stuff just to find a few chests, which may or may not include steel leaf. So we found the Naga scale in another one of these, one that was closer to home. So we came all this way for no flipping reason. Just thought I'd uh, bring you with me, to show you how futile uh, an endeavour we spent so that you could join us in spending a few time endeavour. Ended up going back. We fought the... Let's see if I can find the maze and I'll show you where that was. See what that looks like. That's actually really cool. So back in the sink. This is it here. It's actually kind of hard to spot. Um, this is cool. You can ch change the vertical chunk that you're looking at in journey map. So if you bring it back down to zero, there's the maze there. Um, and there's the ravine we were just in. But look, the discs of the inside of the hills are really cool because there's the other one over there which we explored. It's just this like Christmas tree 
place because it's covered in lights because we were trying to light it up and we succeeded but it's still um oh, no thank you still spawns a lot it's very scary look at it it's weird anyway here's the maze so this hill is what we were looking for we kind of got lucky i think finding it because they're really hard to spot um but you can see that in fact i think i've tristan was just in here and there was a minotaur trying to eat us basically uh, and you go in here and um all of this is dark of course when you're doing it and you have to find your way around or just not bother <laughs> i guess it's even, we haven't even explored the whole thing there's more what's this it's a bat it's full of slimes it's full of beetles it's full of this sort of place so this has got the um what's it called it's the minotaur spawner there look it's got the the meath people in it i mean you're wandering around this place going where the heck am i <laughs> how, how do i survive this yikes Something's exploding. Run away. So these two charge at you, by the way. There we go. That explosion, don't know if you noticed, took ages to actually come to fruition. Yeah, it's a troll explosion. This is literally just called a minute. So these drop. Apparently I wasn't poisoned, by the way, earlier on. I broke into a thing and it just exploded. <laughs> I didn't even... There wasn't anything there. It wasn't even worth me breaking into. So some of the chests that you find are also trapped chests. But look. One, six attack damage. Nine attack goes as well. These are cool. They let you through. Um, because these are really hard to break. But if you use the uh, explosives, they're not hard to break at all. Look, milk. To get this maze map focus, what you do is you get the maze map focus from one of these. And then you want to find some paper. Now there's paper lying around in some of these chests. So the whole maze sort of gives you its own uh, way through. And there's these torch rooms as well, which I'm pretty sure are literally there because you wouldn't have brought enough torches. Uh, and you're getting lost and dying. But I've got this magic bow that fills in the path for us, so it's not as necessary. Um, but the... the, the Cool. The um the maze sort of solves itself for you because you get the map focus, you keep looking around, you find paper in one of the chests, you put it all together, you end up with a map, and the map shows you the way around. But well, it doesn't show you the way around, but it lets you chart your exploration of this place, right? So here's another one, look. Ah! Quick, loot it. Don't need it. Run away! <laughs> it's Got steel leaf in it, but I don't care. You have some time before it explodes. There you go. And then it's just bang, it's gone. Ah, there's another one. Where did you come from? You're on fire, bro. See ya. Oh, you give up, did you? I thought so. So the actual uh, boss of this place was very painful and it hurt. <laughs> We beat it because we're the best, but it was very painful and it hurt. And there's a second layer. There's, this is the top. You have to find your way down and you have to find the end of that. It was fun. Very fun. But we spent so long in it that it was a little bit frustrating. There's another one. Look at this. I just love running around this place, to be honest with you. Um, I'd be quite happy to just sort of... Well, I was quite happy to spend an hour or two just in this place looking around mapping it you're not supposed to have journey map you see you're not supposed to have a map already look a cicada or a firefly maze map focus charm of keeping charm of keeping traveler's logbook new chapters unlocked now the charm of keeping i believe this is a bauble but i I think I thought that it applied to a piece of equipment. I don't remember what it does. Guess we'll have to find out. Look how much more maze there is than we actually discovered. The place is huge. <clears throat> Look at the journey map. Look, this is the size of the maze, and there's another layer. I thought we'd found enough of it. We just got lucky because we hadn't been through here. I haven't lit this place up. <clears throat> it's, it's, it's just 
chests everywhere. There's not much in them. <clears throat> not in terms of like the the part of the game that we're in. There's not much end game loot or late game loot. Uh, it's a sort of Twilight Forest loot, which is fine because it's a Twilight Forest place, but we're not in a position anymore where we really need Twilight Forest loot. Um, except for, of course, Steel Leaf. And it took us all this time to find it, and then we thought we might as well finish the Labyrinth, right? So we've got plenty of Steel Leaf now. Open. Come here. Uh, so we can finally make the thing, but we need to go up to the That's it. <clears throat> that's the... That's our report from the game that we spent so long playing. What were you? It might just be a skeleton. Boring, isn't it? Or a zombie, sure. I'm, I'm perplexed that there's so much that we didn't find. We've obviously been... Was that where I just was? No, there's paper in here, look. So that's how you find the paper. You make the map. The map tells you how to get... I think the map tells you how to get around the level that you're on when you make it. So then you find another map focus for the other level. You get the idea. There's a random pool. Quite nice if you fancy a dip. So this is what we did for our entire... Anyway, <laughs> nothing else to report. We need to go back to the moon, we need to make, compress another few more level 2 access cards, that's fine, that's easy. We've done the moon now, we've done it to death. How's our, what's my armor like? Surely there's another, I've got death, look, fair enough, dragon scale helmet, it's not too bad, but I feel like there's probably a level of armor that exists whereby I do not need, oh look, here's the way down, that's what I was saying. Um, any more, take the ink sack. For some reason. Uh, I don't need the slime boots anymore. I mean, it's nice to have the multi-jump on them, <clears throat> but it might be even nicer to just basically be OP and kill everything in one hit. So maybe we should look into learning another level of armor, if there is such a thing. We'll have to look it up. Uh, next stream is Friday, apart from the fact that I'm streaming tomorrow, we're playing Caveopolis. If you've been watching those videos, then you should have been, because in between streams I will be doing a video. You've missed the progress basically. Watch the streams, watch the videos, um, and you'll know what's happening. <laughs> but until then, thank you for watching. I say tomorrow. I've probably already uploaded, I've, I've probably already done it by the time I upload this video because I haven't done the putting the stream things together anyway. I'm waffling. Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. I hope that you will join me and in the stream, and I hope that you will join me for the next stream summary and just watch me as I wander around an endless maze endlessly looking for something to talk about so again thank you for watching see you next time bye